Hello friends. In today's class, we are going to talk about static allocation strategy, its requirement and where it is used. Welcome again and the next topic is uh, the allocation strategy among this uh, the allocation strategy we are talking about static allocation okay so let me just read out this value in static allocation name are bound to the storage as a program is compiled okay so this is as i told you this is a compile time binding okay this is a compile time binding so there is no uh, no need a runtime support package uh, since the binding do not change at the runtime, every time processor is activated, its name is bound to the same location. Okay, so uh, this is something different. That same location name is binded. Okay, same location name is binded or bound bound to the same location. This property allows the value of local name to be retained across the activation of the processor. So local name uh, hold the value and that is the same property as I told you that if you declare the variable static int a and if a is the local variable. The values of the local are, are same as they were, uh, they were when the control left last time. Uh, however, there is a certain limitation that the size of the data object and the constant on its position memory must be known at compile time. Recursive procedure are restricted. Okay, we cannot use this record recursive procedure for static allocation because there we need to know the size in advance. And uh, and all the activation as the procedure use the same binding for the local names. Okay, so same binding for the local name and data structure cannot be created dynamically uh, since the allocation there is no mechanism of uh, runtime. Okay, so uh, there are few limitation uh, associated with your static allocation uh, that the position and the known at only compile time uh, recursive processes are restricted and data structure cannot be created dynamically. So uh, the only point is we cannot have only uh, if you feel that only static allocation is possible. So in that case, these are the few disadvantages that we are going to face. Okay, so only static allocation is not possible. Not possible. Okay, so the next thing is your uh, next uh, allocation we'll learn is a stack allocation. Okay, static allocation we are done and this with few restrictions. 